I want to just uh, War Eagle Creek. Show you this creek and just how still it's just quietly moving, just gently. I don't know if you can see it really good or not, but you know, um, how do you do that? Okay, maybe you can see it a little bit better now. Um, you know, this is the way uh, the Lord wants us to be. He wants us to be just flowing with His Spirit and His Spirit in us. And He wants us to be quiet. He wants us to be trusting Him, having faith in Him, believing Him, even though everything around us might the shouting and screaming uh, to doubt and to fear and that has left us and everything else. We have to stand in faith. You know, when Daniel was in the lion's den, I mean, they were putting him down in there with a bunch of hungry, live lions. And Daniel stood in his faith, even though he knew those lions could rip him from one end to the other in about a minute. He knew that his God, our God, was going to take care of him and bring him out. But he also had the attitude, you know, even if he doesn't, he'll still trust him. Even, you know, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, when they went into the furnace, they had the same attitude. You know, our God can deliver us and will deliver us, but even if he doesn't, King, we're not going to bow down to you. Hallelujah. We're going to do what our Lord says to do. You know, be still in the Lord and know that no matter what, our God is faithful. He is faithful. No matter what you see here, no matter what kind of turmoil you might sense or feel inside in your spirit, speak to yourself. You know, like uh, David did in the Psalms, you know, why? Are you cast down? <laughs> he was speaking to himself. Why art thou cast down, O my soul? Yeah, why are Hope thou in God? Yes, see? Amen. And, you know, open your Bible to the Psalms and just start reading the Psalms, you know. Psalms 27. You know, and all these Psalms, wonderful Psalms. Yeah, Psalm 27, the first verse, it says, <laughs> The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my mm -hmm. life of whom shall I be afraid and when you read that see like I just did I just quoted it from memory I go over to Isaiah it says God says to his children who art thou that thou art afraid of a man that shall die or the son of man that will vanish like the grass you know of the field mm -hmm. uh, so God's telling his people who are you that you're afraid of a man that shall die see there's no fear there should be no fear of man in the Christian's life and if we have fear of man, it's because there's something going on that is not according to the will and purpose of Almighty God for us. You know, we may feel stuff, we may sense stuff in the Spirit, and you know, sometimes it, it gets so intense that you know you're just like, oh my gosh, what is going on? You know, and but see, we can sense things that are going on, you know, that are not seen, you know, like a shenanigan or a an evil device that the devil is trying to work against us you know but what does the bible say you know and the lord's brought me this scripture so many times you know hey they've devised an evil device against you and which they are not able to perform in other words there's going to be devices schemed against us and there has with us many many times but what does he say? They're not able, going to be able to perform those devices. I mean, he also says it puts them back on their own head. Oh yeah. yeah, brings it right back on top of their own head and um, trust in the Lord and you know just keep this this uh, creek that I'm showing you. This really still waters. Keep this in mind as you go about your day. You know, the Lord wants me to be still. The Lord wants me to trust Him. 
The Lord wants me to believe his promises, believe his word. Just take it for what it says. Don't try to figure it out. Don't try to divide, you know, Amen. you know, try to do all these things of everything. Just believe it. Hallelujah. It has all to do with belief. Amen. Faith That's is right. belief. That's right. Faith believe. is believing and believing in something that maybe you're not seeing exactly right now. Right. But knowing, you know, speak the scriptures to yourself. Yeah. I know, mm-hmm. I'm, and to each other, yeah. I know that the Lord is doing a good work. And just speak to the Lord. Lord, I know you're doing a good work. I feel all this turmoil inside me, but you know what, Lord? I know that you're doing a work. And I know whatever's going on behind the scenes, whatever scheme the devil's trying to do, and maybe I'm sensing it, I also know that you are right in the middle of that, Lord, and you're right, Johnny, on the spot with that, with your warring angels. And and you're taking care of whatever's going on. So I don't have to need to worry about it. I I don't have to be concerned about it, because I know that you've got me. Hallelujah. And that there's nothing going to come into my life but what you approve it. Just like you did with Job. Mm-hmm. The devil couldn't touch him without your approval. And he also couldn't go past what you told him he could do either. Praise so, you know, praise the Lord. We have the victory. We do have the victory in Christ. Amen. We have the victory. Amen. And I would just tell you today to be still. Just be still before the Lord. and You know, just put a big smile on your face and say, hey, you know... It doesn't matter how I'm feeling or whatever. I know my God's got me. He is such a mighty big God. He created all the heavens and the earth and everything we see, all the living creatures. And hey, he, he's got it all in control. He's not out of control. This world is out of control. The devil's out of control. And he is roaring like an out of control lion. You know why? Because he don't have very much time. That's why. So he's trying to reach around with his big old dragon tail and whip you right in with him into the pit. Don't let that happen. Stand firm in the Lord. Stand firm in his word. And say, I know my God will deliver me and Amen. will provide for me and will take care of whatever's going on. In Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.